Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Whitney and this is Witch Ray Beauty and I am so excited because today we are going to be testing out the new Catrice True Skin Foundation. This is only $11 and we are going to be putting it to the ultimate test today. So we are going to be applying it, applying everything on it, and we are going to be doing a wear test to see how it lasts throughout the day. So if you are interested in this foundation or you just like foundation reviews, give this video a thumbs up, click that subscribe button before you leave, and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you have tested this foundation because I haven't seen anybody talking about it and I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of shocked. So if you want to see how we created this look and what I think about this foundation, just keep on watching. Okay, I am so excited. I have literally heard nothing about this foundation, so I'm so excited to play with it today. We are going to be testing out the new Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. Hydrating foundations are always scary for me because I am oily skin, but I've been leaning more towards hydrating foundations versus matte foundations because it's just, they give your skin just such a fresh look and I love it. The Urban Decay Hydra Maniac, I've tested that so I will leave a link in the description to that video that has been like one of my favorite foundations it was so beautiful and it lasted so well on my skin so I've been loving the more hydrating foundations lately this has hyaluronic acid in it which is so freaking good for your skin it is one of my favorite things I use it day and night okay so just a little bit about this foundation it retails for $11 the benefits are long wearing, hydrating, medium coverage, buildable, made with hyaluronic acid, and watermelon seed oil. That is interesting. Um, ultra lightweight texture. It is cruelty free, vegan, paraben free, alcohol free, and gluten free. It says enhance your true skin with the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. This long wearing vegan foundation has medium buildable coverage that gives your skin a natural real skin finish, which is exactly what we are looking for. And then it just says formulated with hyaluronic acid watermelon seed for intense hydration it has 20 shades available can we do more can we do more i think i remember struggling a little bit to find my shade the shades on the screen versus like what they look like in the tube are very different. I got mine in 30 neutral sand which looks literally pink on the website. I don't know if you can see that. It looks pink um, but this is what it actually looks like. doesn't look pink at all so I'm hoping that is gonna go okay. Um, the shade range is alright for what they have but I just feel like it's 2021 we can do more than 20 shades because 20 shades is not gonna work for everyone and I understand Catrice is a smaller brand but it's big enough to be an Ulta so and you're big enough to release foundation so I feel like if you feel comfortable enough to release foundation your shade range needs to be bigger so that is just my opinion then I also got I know I don't usually test like new concealers with foundations and such but I really want to try this and I didn't know where to throw it into I got the new revolution concealer stick and this is the eye bright illuminating under eye concealer with vitamin C and look at this packaging I swatched it to see if I liked the color which is not bad but it has like the um, soft tip, which there used to be a foundation or a concealer that I used from the drugstore that had that same tip. And I cannot remember what it is, but it's somewhere. But I, I didn't like it. I know everybody loved it, but I didn't like it personally, so I stopped using it. So I'm hoping I have better luck with this one. I really like this packaging. So we are going to go ahead and go in and with my e.l.f. Mint Melt Primer. This primer 
is so good. Oh, I painted my nails and then this came off. But I've pretty much given up on trying to teach myself to do my nails. But I've really liked, I was going to go get my nails done, but I've really just liked being able to like touch makeup and apply stuff to my eyes with my fingers. So I think I'm just going to let my nails grow and paint so I can keep them shorter and I'm able to still work with stuff better because I just, I like it so much more now that I have the nails off and I'm able to actually work with my hands. So this pump is pretty, pretty neat. I'm not going to lie. That has a pretty cool pump. Like sits your finger perfectly. So we're gonna pump out just about two pumps there. And I'm gonna just go in with my beauty blender. This is clean, it is so stained. I need to get a new one, it needs thrown out. And then going straight on the face. Right off the bat, I will say I think this looks a little bit light. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit light. It, the coverage is really nice. When they said medium coverage, I, when they said medium buildable coverage, I intended this to be like a little bit on the lighter side and then you could like build it up to medium, but I feel like right off the bat it is pretty medium coverage, which is really nice. So this is what it looks like with half of the face. I'm not going to lie. This looks flawless like in this area where I'm normally very textured. It looks so freaking pretty. I think one coat covered everything that I wanted it to cover. And the shade actually does not look that bad. Now that I am have it on and I'm kind of looking at it, it does not look that bad. I'm really impressed. I have the Catrice. I was smelling this and I don't smell anything in it as well. I had the Catrice dropper one, the full coverage one or whatever. And I'm not going to lie, I don't like it. I know so many people do, so I was really disappointed, but I'm not a fan of it. I think it's just too, a little bit too cakey for me. And I have the Catrice, um, concealer. And I really actually do like the Catrice conceal concealer, but it has a crap ton of fragrance in it. Um, and my face just doesn't like fragrance, so I don't use it that often. But this is so stunning. I do not, I don't smell anything in it, which is great because that is all I am asking. I know some people like fragrance stuff, but I feel like more people can't, their, their skin can't tolerate fragrance stuff. So, like, just don't do it, please. As a company... Because if something's fragranced, especially with, like, my migraines and one of my triggers being fragranced, I will mostly shy away from it if somebody, if I hear somebody talking about, like, how bad the fragrance is or if something is advertised as being fragrant, I shy away from that more because my body just my skin and my migraines can't take fragrance 
This is freaking st Oh my god, this is beautiful. My face looks so flawless. I very rarely, I think I said this in my last foundation review video too. I don't remember what foundation it was, but I very rarely found a foundation that I put on immediately and I'm obsessed with. Because normally I'm somebody who likes their foundations like in a few hours once like everything like settles. This has such a beautiful like sheen to it. It looks so clean and fresh and it is flawless. My face looks flawless. Okay, so we're going to move on to the concealer. Just going to give it some twists. I didn't twist this a lot when I got it in. So let's give it some good twists because there's not a lot coming out of it. I'm going to be honest. I don't really like these type of concealers with the like applicators on them. I don't know why. I think the applicators are kind of gross, honestly, because I can't clean this. And then, like, I'm applying it directly onto my face, and I think it's, I think it's kind of gross. And then, I don't know. The packaging on this, like, the rose gold was really what got me. I feel like Revolution has some really nice products and I'm just like getting to discover them. Okay, so I do think this looks really pretty. It is very glowy when it says illuminating, it means illuminating. But also, I feel like I, you can see this kind of like pushes up. I feel like I've used so much and that's my first time using it. But my under eyes look very smooth. It didn't, sometimes concealers will like emphasize that texture here after my foundation's on it and it didn't do that. So it really looks really nice. I am going to go ahead and set it with my one size translucent powder. That is like the powder I've been using for everything lately. I am going to jump off really quick, finish up my under eye, and then we will be back to do the rest of the face. Okay, so I went ahead and finished up the under eye and threw on some eyebrows. So let's go ahead and get the rest of this face on because we are looking very flat right now. So I'm gonna go in to my Hourglass palette and I'm gonna go into that bronzer. I'm just gonna start bronzing up that skin and this dried down very nicely. I haven't powdered anything else. So I don't have to worry about setting any other part of the face, which I personally really like because even though I'm oily, I still don't like I still feel like I can look powdery and I don't like doing that. I don't like looking that way. So if I do have to powder a foundation, I will. But if I can get away with not powdering it, I would rather do that. Oh my god. I don't think my complexion has looked this good in a really long time. And I'm really impressed. Especially coming from a like $11 foundation and a just as con affordable concealer. Okay, so we are bronzed up. I'm going to give my face a little spritz of the Professionals Super Setter Spray. And then I'm going to go in with a highlight before my blush. And I'm using the Jaclyn Cosmetics one in the shade Twinkle. This came in the Valentine's box. And I do have a little unboxing and a review on those so I'll have that linked in the description if you are interested 
this is so pretty and it does have a cute mirror in it I love that that is such a pretty highlight and I'm just gonna go ahead and go back into the hourglass palette and I'm gonna use this blush shade right here I don't know why I always forget this has a mirror and I'm always trying to use another one and that looks so pretty I'm gonna give a close up look. Let's get really close. Of what my face is looking like right now and it looks really freaking good. The concealer looks really good. The foundation looks really good. It looks really smooth. There's no like patchiness. There's literally nothing. I've been having some issue with my foundation sometimes breaking up like in this area and that is not happening at all looks so freaking good so I am of course gonna finish up my makeup I'll go ahead and do that off camera throw on a lip throw on some mascara but this is what we have going on right now I am gonna hang out today I'm not really doing anything it's Valentine's Day I have some editing to do so I am going to do that and we are just going to wear this throughout the and I will be back in just a little bit to give you guys an update. Alright, so it is almost 8 o'clock, which means I've had this foundation on for 7 hours. And I am ending this a little bit early. I wanted to do it longer, but I am going to go play in the snow. <laughs> which is crazy because I live in Texas, but it is snowing finally. I think we were the last part of Texas to get snow. It has been snowing in like different parts for weeks and we're finally getting snow. So this is what the foundation looks like after seven hours. And I did wear a mask today so I have a little bit of foundation missing in this area right here in a little tiny bit on this side. But that is it. Other than that, it literally has not budged. It looks just as beautiful as it did when I put it on this morning. So... I highly recommend this foundation and honestly I think it's gonna be great for oily skin because I have oily skin and it looks really good and I don't even think it would have rubbed off anywhere except for the fact that I wore a mask today so that's why it did that other than that I think it would have stayed perfectly all day and I also think it's gonna be really great for like people on the drier or normal side because it does have a really nice like luminous um, finish to it. It has like a really fresh skin like finish. So $11 and the concealer is fantastic too and I really like it because I feel like a lot of concealers leave my under eyes dry which is one thing that I hate. So you know it's good if I say I like a concealer because I am the pickiest when it comes to concealers but I really do like this one and $11 for this foundation get it it is so freaking good my face very rarely looks this good after this long of wear because I usually have to touch up or something with I'm oily whether I have to blot or but I wouldn't even blot this right now I think it looks really really nice so I do highly recommend and I'm gonna go play in the snow so that is all i have today if you like this video give it a thumbs up click that subscribe button before you leave and i will see you guys in the next one